Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen of Monra coming to you with your general reading. Happy full moon. Happy full beaver moon. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let us see what's in your cards. All right, let's go. Let's see what's in your cards. This reading is for the 15th of the um, 15th of November through the 22nd. So here's the magician card, right? Here's the Wheel of Fortune and also the Moon card. So it looks like somebody will be able to leave some things in the past. <clears throat> they feel very fortunate to be able to leave. Um, three energies, looks like three energies that may have left you in the dark about some things in the past, uh, Taurus. Um, and those three energies like to keep people in the, in the dark about some, some things. Whatever they like to keep people in the dark about. But you're going to feel very fortunate to have been the one to initiate some kind of change. You are the one that's going to be initiating. And you learned a lesson about something. <clears throat> oh, okay. Five of Wands. Here we also have the Queen of Cups. And we also have the Eight of Cups, right? So here we have the Five of Wands here. So you learned a lot about people who bait you into things and then switch up and then show no compassion towards things. Like bait you into possibly an argument and then switch up on you right here we also have the eight of cups somebody just learn walk away just walk away your head and heart don't need to be at war with each other walk away just walk away because somebody something looks like something creates some kind of confusion creates some kind of confusion you don't need to respond to everything that something should not motivate certain things shouldn't motivate you at this stage emotionally should motivate you know, some people look at it as like, well, if you don't respond to certain things, it must be true. I guess that's what some people say. Certain things you don't need to give any air to. You let it have a backdraft. You don't give any air to it at all. People are going to assume whatever they want to assume. So it's just trying to help somebody learn how to, when people keep, it's like these three energies right here, keeping somebody in the dark about stuff like not letting you know what's going on. And just like over time, you're just letting it sit in your soil. Whoever these energies are, you're just letting them sit in your soil and grow. You got air, that's your thinking. You got sun, you, you slept on something. Like you went to bed, like just letting this stuff sit in your, your, sit in your soil. Like your physical body would be your soil, right? Your earth would be your physical body. You woke up with it. You woke up with it. You held on to that thing, right? Your fixed sign, you held on to it, right? The sun illuminates the moon, which will be fire, right? So that thing started growing, air, start thinking about it, start talking about it, that's air, right? Water inside of us, right? That water, right? Right? You, you start thinking, okay, well, you, know, you start getting emotions, right? Right? You start talking, somebody else start pouring their opinions into it, time, right? It's getting darker and darker, right? More confusion, starts growing so source is trying to tell somebody is like you know then you got this you know internal struggle this fight inside of you when source is saying at that very moment when you feel like you were kept in the dark about something that was your opportunity to say i need to walk away from this i had it hard enough at war with this why am i wasting all my emotions why am i wasting all these cups of water why would i waste my water on some you're not telling me the whole somebody not telling me the whole story about something I haven't even heard everything. Why am I going to believe something? I don't even know the whole everything about something. Because it's a reliable source. The only reliable source is source. Everything else is a resource. So source is saying to you, you're, you're going to learn how to believe what source tells you to believe. Right? See these energies right here wearing a mask. And you got a third energy right here, keeping everybody in the dark about something, right? So here we have the um, five of pentacles here. So it's saying you got to know your own worth. Because some energies is keeping somebody out in the cold. So I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know if somebody's moon sign is Taurus because we got moon right here. So your moon sign could be Taurus. But somebody's going to feel very fortunate when you know that your moon sign is just as important as your sun sign. Just as important 
the more you start pouring into yourself, you're going to start recognizing this right here. Every time you're getting close to something you prayed for, I'm talking about it's like literally like clockwork. <laughs> Every time you get close to something you prayed for, you're like, okay, I know I'm getting close to something. I get a feeling that something I prayed for is about to happen. Then something from your past reappears. The test. Do you know your worth? Do you know your value? I mean, it's it's a lot more layered than that. But sources down, are you going to take the bait? Are you going to take the bait? So, so it's just trying to give somebody some time to start learning. This The Magician card connects us to Mercury, which is pre-shadow retrograde right now. And Mercury is the messenger and communication planet. So that's why I talk about journaling so much. It's the messenger and communication planet. After a while, Source is trying to help somebody say, if you respond to every little bait then you get the reputation of being a narcissist because okay they going they going to get the bait every single time every single time all you going to have to do is do this put a little match up under them they going they going to take the bait every single time or, or a person who has a temper you know how to, we know how to set Taurus off just do this that's going to just move that's going to set them off so it's just saying sometimes you need to just pour into yourself and just walk away. It's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. It's going to start making sense to somebody. And that's what Source is saying to you. Just giving you some time. You're going to feel very fortunate when you just say, believe what you want to believe. <laughs> believe what you want to believe. People are just being kept in the dark about stuff. So that's the source is trying to tell somebody. It's like you get to the light side of emperor energy when you are the person that says you are. The light side of emperor energy is the person who initiates. Like you're the one that's saying you're initiating. It's like, you know what? You're not taking the bait. You're not even motivated by it. <laughs> it's like you're not opening that door. It's like you're not opening that door. It's like mm -mm. you're not even motivated by it walking away see this right here you're not even talking about it yep here's the um, ten of swords you're, like, you're not even talking about it because that's what somebody is like somebody is just determined it's like somebody is just determined to say oh yeah out in public, they one way, but behind closed doors, they must be depressed. How will they know? They behind your closed doors? <laughs> How would they know? See, because what I see in your cars is that you're happy, you're charismatic, and free, right? But see, what's normal is that, that's, the, I mean, normal. You're a human being. That's what I'm seeing in your cars is that you're a human being. Like, this uh like everybody you're in human form everybody has their you know bait and switch that's everybody that's why so just saying give yourselves a break pour into you just pour into you just learn how to pour into you know your own worth there are some people who only come to you when they want something from you they're cold just okay That's, that's a reflection of them. They're emotionally wounded. Maybe they depressed when they behind closed doors. Maybe somebody, maybe they're the ones that's hurt. That's what Source is trying to help you see in the cards here. You know, maybe they're around people who um, keep them in the dark about stuff. That's what Source is trying to tell you is that you don't have to prey on them like they like you may feel like they prayed on you you don't have to pray on them right so here we have the two of wands here so i feel like somebody may be taking a trip you know you may be leaving something behind but you may be moving forward because your motivation is changing so your motivation is changing and so it's saying you're no longer motivated by that anymore like something in you is changing drastically. Like that five of wands, you're at a turning point. 
You're saying you're not even motivated to even fall for certain things anymore. <clears throat> you're not. You're not. Here's the three of um, pentacles. There's a king of wands here. I feel like somebody's now sort of just starts praying for people. You, I mean, for real. I feel like now your response from now on when you're dealing, it's not like you're completely a, a pushover, Taurus. But I feel like looking at your cards from now on, you're just going to really just feel like, you know what? I just need to start praying for people. That's it. I, I'm not going to get upset. I don't know what's going on. It's none of my business. Depending on whoever it is. I, I, maybe somebody kept them in the dark about something. Maybe they don't know. I'm not going to just automatically think, believe people are lying. Because I mean, everybody can't be. I mean. Because <laughs> that's what, that's what the first thing people go to. Is that people uh, people keeping people in the dark about stuff. They don't really know. what. Go jump on a bandwagon. That's what Source is trying to tell somebody. It's like. You know, you're going to feel very fortunate when you recognize that people will jump on a bandwagon. Somebody believes something about you and trying to get you all up in arms, like trying to get you mad. Like they believe certain things about you, right? That you're on a particular team. Like what team is, uh, um, what team is Taurus on? Like what political team you're on, what gender well y'all know what i'm saying like what team are you on right and people will believe whatever they want to believe you don't have to say what team you're on right um because they're trying to get you to get entangled in some kind of an argument to prove them right or prove them wrong right so source is saying you don't have to reflect that same kind of energy when you can put your energy behind praying for people and not praying on people because some people really have been kept. See this right here? Some people have been kept in the dark about a lot of things their whole lives and they've been talked about, stabbed in the back by people who say they love them. But something is going to help somebody stop talking about things and finally move on from something. The source is giving you some time to initiate this change, like change your, your course, change your direction, start praying and meditating. Start praying and meditating on something. So, because something is still kind of a fight in somebody's spirit. It's like you're almost like you're baiting, baiting and switching in your spirit, almost determined one minute, not determined the next. One minute, somebody feel like they by themselves with something, some minute... Like somebody just uh, sources saying, get some fresh air. Trying to get some fresh air. Yep. Treat yourselves to a spa day. Take a leap of faith. If you have a new attitude, trying to do a heart chakra cleanse. But you have to give the premonition that's forewarning. And so, um, yeah. I keep trying to tell people nobody can disrupt people's money. I, I, <laughs> I keep saying it in my readings. I don't know why people think anybody can disrupt somebody's money. Nobody can disrupt anybody's money. But somebody has not been um honest with themselves but um time to do a sacral chakra cleanse but just pray pray for them there it is first red flag pray journal your journey journal your journey um somebody has an ex that wants to return could be a pisces could be a gemini could be a sagittarius with all of this um pisces and sagittarius both Share Jupiter, so it could be a Pisces for somebody, could be a Gemini or a Virgo for somebody, because both of them. Um, <clears throat> but what would be in common with all of the Pisces would be in common with all of this? Be in common. So yeah, something that was overwhelming for somebody though, but could have could have caused somebody to start drinking. I mean, for real, like yeah, or be on medication or something, but. Your, your inner child is very proud of you, but the best is yet to come. Throat chakra cleanse. Time to do a uh, throat chakra cleanse. But yeah, that's what Source is trying to help you to learn how to do. Is like, 
you stop the internal battle with yourself. It's like, you know, um, somebody is about to be promoted. Um, some kind of um, multiple streams of income is trying to come in. Like, source is basically trying to tell somebody, stop blocking your own blessings by some, by holding on to something from your past. Like, somebody is still connected to something from their past where you're dealing with three energies. You can see it right here in the card. There's like three energies. It's two for for certain. Two energies, but this is a third one down here that likes to keep people in the dark about stuff. And so Source is saying, <clears throat> it's like they're, they're chained to their demon. Like they're chained to the devil. You know, keeping a bunch of confusion going on. And so Source is saying, but why are you still chained to that? Like, why are you still angry about it when you could just break that real quick by, like, okay, let me detach from them. Let me just mm -mm, completely detach. So, yeah, don't don't mess up your don't mess up your money. Don't mess up your <clears throat> and what's what you're detaching from. Just so we're crystal clear, is that spirit of always having to respond to energies that's trying to bait you into something. Especially if, for instance, you don't know if they're talking to or about you. Like if certain words should not trigger somebody. Like if a person says, "Oh, they are narcissists," or they think this, that shouldn't trigger. That shouldn't trigger you. People throw that word around like some people don't even know what that word means. Or somebody says the word low self esteem. I'm the reason why I'm using those words because we're talking about fire, right? We're talking about solar plexus chakra, right? Words like, if you if we talk about fire, words like, okay, they inspire me, or they motivate me, or they add clarity to something, or um, um, or um, I felt like, uh, I felt healed or you know not not like making you some kind of a deity or something but like i felt healed like i felt like i felt better you know like leaving their presence those should be like trigger words for somebody to say okay well, well maybe they are talking about me not the other side <laughs> not the not, not the other side not the dark side right so, so that's what source is trying to help somebody to say when it's when you know it's a lie if you feel like it's a lie, that's not should be something that if you feel like it's a lie, source is saying to you, that's not that shouldn't be something that you should be answering to. Yeah, you, know, you gotta feel like you need to clear something up. I, I need to clarify this. I need to I need to I need to answer to something. For what? <laughs> you're looping yourself. That's what source is saying. You're looping yourself into something. Well, you gotta understand the power of air. Power of air. You're not you're gonna letting it have a backlash like that's that's outside of your vault door. That's the source is trying to help somebody learn how to do so. Yeah, source is saying you're blocking your own blessing when you're doing that. Twenty five. I'm intelligent, so you have great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless, and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. Yeah. People don't realize that they, um, I don't know who, you know, I'm looking at the car, some people realize, they don't realize they still connected to their, um, like this right here. I see somebody getting promoted, right? <clears throat> Taurus. Imagine going to your new job, but you still talking about your old job. You are still energetically connected to your old job. If you go to your new job and you're talking about how horrible your old job was, you're still energetic, energetic, energetically, y'all know what I'm saying, energetically <laughs> connected to your old job, still connected. Time to toss all of that into a burning bowl and say, you know what, that's, that's over. I closed out the cycle. I moved on. I moved on. There it is. Detachment. So with detachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's when it's fulfilled. 
That's it. If you are still talking about, if you are still talking about, I'm familiar with this person. I know that person. I know that when they saying this, they talking about me. They subliminal. I'm still watching. And I'm doing. You are still connected to that energy, and it's having a backdraft. It's messing up. It's messing you up. That's what source is saying. Detach. So you can, you can start seeing that overflow. That's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. That's what I'm seeing for you. That is what I'm seeing for you. So let's get it. All right. So I do see somebody moving on from something. I see somebody moving on from something finally. Because somebody is behind closed doors like this. Somebody is behind closed doors like this. And so, so I see somebody finally moving on. All right. Bye.